Hey there, friends of Falcon, it's Darren here again with our next unboxing video. This time it is Isle of Cats. This game is part of the Falcon Gaming Library, sponsored for this year by Eastridge Games. Check them out at ergames.ca. Isle of Cats was designed by Frank West, published in 2020 by the City of Games. And the art was done by Gerglosio and Frank West. My apologies for any mispronunciation. According to the publisher, Isle of Cats is a game for one to four players in 60 to 90 minutes, ages eight and up. On Board Game Geek, Isle of Cats has a rating of 8.1 and a weight of 2.30 and is currently ranked 165th overall with over 4,000 ratings. The elevator pitch for Isle of Cats is Rescue as many cats as you can before Lord Vesh arrives and destroys their home. Mechanically, this is a card drafting, tile placement, pattern building game. Sounds interesting. Okay, let's have a look. This is a little bit bigger than a Ticket to Ride box, our usual measuring stick. It is deeper and um, about the same size, 12 by 12, I would say. And... The back of the box shows a layout for three players, I think. Gives off the box contents. It tells us that it has a family mode and a solo mode. I really like that. Um, this is definitely going to be a family weight game, I think, for our, our library. And uh, it's got cats. So there will be the, init the immediate um, raising of level of rank because, well, there are cats. All right, let's get into the box and see what we got going on here. This box is solid. It is a very thick, heavy construction. I don't know how structurally certain it is. I love this. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to show this off. It has a cat set up. If you have a cat, pet cat, you should place it here while playing Isle of Cats. I don't think you'll have a choice if you have a cat. They'll sit there whether they want to, whether you want them to or not. That's adorable. Let's put this down and see what we got going on in the box. We have a big bag, and the bag has stuff in it. Let's see what's in the bag for Isle of Cats. The bag is huge. I don't think I could put my head in it, but, you know, a cat's head would sit. It's huge. All right. Let's put that over here. We have baggies. We love baggies. Baggies are good. There's a pencil in a piece of plastic. That's adorable. Um, we have a score pad. A nice thick score pad. I'll probably laminate one of these and put some dry erase markers up the library for people to use. Let's start with this bag of stuff. These look like cats. I think they are cats. So we have... seem to be five different types of cats and a ship. So there's the ship token. Very nice. I suspect that is Lord Vesh. But we'll look and all the cats have different poses. So I'll have to obviously show you all of them. Rebag these all up later. I suspect these are player colors. These ones may be a feral cat. I don't know. You get two, four, six cats in five different colors. And we have what seems to be a feral cat or very. We have a ready to pounce cat. I thought it was a mouse when I first looked at it, but I'm pretty sure it's a cat. We have a cat that's sitting quite pretty. We have the red cat, which is obviously the evil cat. What a really nice pose. And this other cat, a tiny cat with a really big tail. All right, let's slide all that off to the side here. And we'll deal with that in a later moment. Let's see. We have cards. So let's see if we can get ourselves into these cards. No any trouble. Mm. 
we have a map reference. And of course we have four of those. So there is a map reference card. Tells you what's going on in the what the different uh there are icons on each map to help identify the family. For colorblind people, very nice. There is a cat reference. And if you can, and if you find it difficult, you can tell by their body shapes. I'm telling you, this game has just tripled in value to me because of the colorblind value. Uh, thought they were thinking of colorblind people. We have a solo lesson deck and a solo basket deck. So this is all for solo play. Which so colors. All right. This is all the cards for solo. I'll put it in a bag, and I'm sure somebody else will enjoy playing with the solo cards. We have family cards. I'm not even going to look at solo cards. Sorry. You guys will have to see for yourselves. We have a family. This is a tearjerker. Score your third largest family twice. I have no idea what that means, but it's supposedly a tearjerker. So there's a bunch of family cards. Let's look at another one at random. A Mohawksite Cattery. Nine points if you have exactly five orange cats on your board. Okay. So, those look like goals. My apologies. Um, we have, I don't know what they are, they're blue. And they have um, different keywords on them at the top. This one's in dusk. Oh, these are public lessons. So, these must be private goals. These are public goals. Okay. We have three decks of cards. Let's delve into a second one and see if we find some other cards. I was watching another unboxing video and somebody they just literally left everything and shrink and all that. And I'm not sure whether going into this detail is what you guys want or not. But let me know in the comments whether I'm going into too much detail, too little detail. Another still a huge stack of these blue cards. So these blue cards were just well, this is an any kind card. These are lessons. There are this is a lucky clue. Take one tile from the bag at random and place it on your boat. Okay. So they're different cards. They have all have blue backs, but these have a purple. And these are any kind cards. A lot of those. There's another one. Gain a color. Pick a color. Gain one fish for each cat of the chosen color on your boat. I guess cat fish are handy. We have treasures. Take any rare treasure or two commons. Okay. And we have lessons. So more lessons. Oh, and I have an any time card on the box. So some of these are lessons with an A, B's, C's. So they must have different levels. All right. I don't know. We're going to find out as we get to play this game, I guess. Last deck. And we'll get to the boards. I'm not trying to rush this, but I've been told some of my videos are just too long. Even more blue cards. They're all blue. So there's going to be a huge deck of blue. We have a lore keeper of shanks. It's a type of cat. Oshax. Not a cat guy, really. But uh, Oshax must be some special cats because I suspect those are those what I call feral cats. And they're special. Don't know. We have rescues. My favorite type of animal is a rescue animal. We have two rescue dogs. I'll sort the cards in there. We have some more any kind cards. All right. So let's get rid of that because nobody wants to listen to that right now. My apologies. Okay. Now let's get to the meat. We have a player board. There should be four of these player boards. It looks like a boat with a very subtle grid and some artwork on the back. Um, it will tell you how scoring works. Um, rats are penalties. Rooms are penalties. But families and rare treasures and public lessons and store lessons. And how many families you have is how many points. And then what your round looks like. You go fishing. You explore. 
you read lessons, you rescue cats, and you have rare finds. Very cool. The back side is another board. I don't think it's any different. It has a dolphin. Oh, they have different. So one side is for something. I'm guessing that the dolphin versus the uh, strange creature will tell me what is going on for what, whether it's an advanced or a basic form of the game. There are, as I said, four player boards. A big bag. I'm not afraid to find out what that's for. I just some punching tiles all day. Another big bag. A rule book. The rules are 24 pages. It is very clean. We have how to get how to win right off the bat. I like that. Excellent choice. We have any information from their website, their Twitter. There's a how to play video at their website, cityofkings.com. We have cat figures. We have cat tiles. We have fish tokens. They must be cardboard because I haven't seen them yet. Common treasures, the Vesh's boat, some rare treasures, Oshaks, and a bunch of other tokens, and a bunch of different cards. Excellent. We have a setup. It'll tell me how to set up the global setup, the player setup, a nice distribution of what it looks like. And before you um, play your first game, how to set up the bag. Don't put the Oshak treasures or the common treasure tiles in the bag, but you put the different cats in the rare treasures. Sure. What's on a boat? We have rooms. They have different walls. They have walls, I guess. Sure. There are icons for in the corners of the rooms to help us t tell what they are. I didn't see that, but I'll go look at that later. Some key terms. How to place a tile. What happens in a five, the game is played over five days. This tells us what happens in a day. We look at that on the player board. They have the fishing, the exploration, the reading of lessons. I'm not going to go too deeply into this. I guess it's very clean. It's very clear. It's not cluttered on the page. Lots of picture examples. Rescue cats. And then at the end of the round, we empty fields. And we fish. If there are any kind of cards, they're purple. How to score at the end of the game. So we only score once, I guess, at the end of the game. They have a whole detailed scoring example. And a cat family is a family of three or more tiles of the same color that are touching. Good to know. Solo mode. And we'll skip that for now. There are 38 lesson cards. There are core lessons and additional lesson modules. So you can have different combinations of lessons in the game. How to work with the rare treasure and any other promos you may find. We don't have any promos yet, but if somebody wants to send me a promo for our game, I'll definitely add it to the library. We have an FAQ, and we credit the people, Frank West, who's been involved in just about every aspect of this game. Well done, Frank West. All right. We have a reference sheet. Looks like we have one reference card. So I will be printing out three more of these with the family rules on how to play the game. Okay. And then punch boards. And I mean a lot of punch boards. We have a small punch board that looks like they have baskets. Okay. The cardboard is good quality. It's not overly thick, but it is good quality. These look like baskets. We have cats um, in many very awkward poses. Well, awkward for humans, but cats, they, if they sit, they fit, right? Um, we have some fish tokens and some treasure tokens. And it looks like we have two, three, Four, oops, went too far that time. Five different tiles of, uh, that's going up too far. There are five different tiles because you have the Oshaks. 
And we have some more cats, and we have what looks like a very overproduced uh, reference board. Well, maybe talks about the rounds. I'm not sure. But a common player area. Excellent. All right, then. That is everything that was in the box. I'll put this all away later. Let's talk about my thoughts. So, Isle of Cats. Um, I was recommended this because I may not be a cat person, but I know I recognize that many people are cat people. And I thought we should have this in the, in the library. It is a very replayable game with the tile placement and the randomness, the different lessons that you can in, add or remove from the game to uh, make it more variety. It is family level, which is really stuff we like to add to the library. It has a solo mode, so for purposes of our pandemic, if people um, need to play something, they can play it solo. And I suspect that um, that gives you lots of opportunities to get this game to the table. It has incredibly good table presence. Most tile laying games do. They're very colorful. So I'm really happy we've added this to the Falcon Library. Well, once again, I want to thank you for checking out our unboxing video of Isle of Cats. I want to thank East Ridge Games for sponsoring, sponsoring the Falcon Gaming Library this year. Check out falcon.com for more information about the convention and our meetups in the Calgary, Alberta area. Feel free to like and to subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I'll try to answer as best I can. In closing, I'm Darren with Falcon and I want to know... Are you game? Thanks and have a great day.